so uh, uh, just keep, uh, keep tuned, and it, it's, it's pretty exciting. So, reflecting back on Copy Texas, five years ago, we were here, we being at the time, I was working for ATI, and we were talking with AMD about closing the, the acquisition. And one thing that, between the two companies, is we had a common vision of where the PC industry and the market was going. And that vision was that, well, the, the, the fundamental PC industry is changing. It's moving from kind of an x86 core-based solution to a visual computing uh, market. It's fundamentally, new architectures are going to be required to take advantage of the emerging media-rich applications that were coming into the marketplace in five years. And so we had this five-year vision. And so now, here we are, five years later. Let's go over how are we doing? How are we doing realizing that vision? Uh, and, and why did it make sense? Well, fundamentally, is, as you can hear me talking, we, uh, we are visual people. So, of course, I can talk to you, and you can understand about 150 words, either verbally or, or through text, a minute. But if we switch over to video, or pictures, and so on, and you're going to see demos and other things in the course of the, of the next hour, it's just a much more efficient way of communicating. And you can get up to the 400 to 2,000 times effective communication rate. As, as we look forward, <clears throat> if you look at today, in terms of, just think about it, right now there's over a million videos being watched. Right now, as, as I speak, there'll be over 500 million video calls today. And it's not sitting still by any stretch. As we look forward to several years, you're going to see those number of video calls increase almost 50% per year. So by the time we get to 2014, almost half the internet traffic will be either HD or 3D traffic. So the trend is actually accelerating, requiring the need for those high performance GPUs and processor technologies. We set out over these past five, five years three pillars. The first one is deliver winning platforms. So the course of my presentation and, and Chris Florence here in a bit, we're going to only talk about platforms. We're going to talk about how AMD is now the leader in battery life, how we're the leader with our I.O. technology, leader with our GPU technology. The second pillar is, is what I just mentioned. We are going to differentiate on our GPUs, whether it's the game consoles from Nintendo or Microsoft that utilize our GPU technology or the personal computers throughout the world. It's clear that AMD is the leader in GPU technology, and we're going to leverage that across our entire product line going forward. The third pillar, of course, we're going to deliver that technology. So it's very exciting to see all those platforms in the, in the back of the room that leverage that Fusion APU technology. So we have gone from we're going to win to now we are winning. So in just a couple weeks, we're going to complete that stack by introducing our Lano processor into the broader part of the marketplace. <laughs> now, as we look at platforms, and I mentioned a little, the fundamental part of a platform is the chipset. So we're, today we're introducing our nine series of chipsets in anticipation of our future processors. What does that bring to the table? Well, first off, the chipset is backward compatible. So that means it works with all the, all the discrete processors that we're shipping today into the marketplace. Number two, it improves the I.O., uh, the, the speed of interacting with our new SATA uh, I.O.s, up to six gigabits uh, per second performance. And then, back to the visual experience, it has scalable performance. It can support two, three, or four GPUs. The timing. So the chipsets are available today. So we can ship volume production today. Next month, you'll see motherboards from our, our key partners being sold into the world. Again, being able, being able to leverage today's processors as well as our Zambezi processor, which will then ship the next month. So Zambezi is looking great. It leverages our bulldozer core. Our bulldozer core, we're really happy. That's our brand new x86 core, x86 core that we at AMD have been working on for five plus years. Uh, that desktop chip looks great. It has a server twin. We call it a Rochi. Uh, that server product is right on schedule for, for launch in Q3 as well. We're real happy with the, the, with the progress that we're making in this, this product line. And now to shift over to 
to step back again was two and a half years ago. At that time, I committed to a, a promise that seemed pretty startling, that we would deliver our fusion processors in a couple years, and what that would enable was a supercomputer in a notebook with all day battery life. Again, Chris will show you that data that we're actually realizing that with our Lano uh, fusion processor. You're going to get that supercomputer performance, 500 gigafops in a notebook that under some measures gets over 10 hours of battery life. But of course, we can sit still. So we know how this market works. Sitting still gets you killed. So we're executing on our, our roadmap. As you can see, a couple key things about this roadmap. So it looks pretty much to what I showed last year. So on our mainstream product line, you have Lano. Now it's being followed up with Trinity. Trinity again leverages that brand new bulldozer x86 core that I just mentioned. On the mainstream, you have Ontario. So are all the platforms that you see out there. We have some interesting innovations in that area and that'll be followed up by a part called Krishna. But now you do see a change. And that's another fundamental thing that we're talking about today. You see that third line of products down there. And that's in a reflection of the, the tablet market. So we're going ahead with now a tablet line of Fusion APUs as well. So you can see the first one's available effectively this year. The next one, codenamed Hondo, is, is a brand, brand new that we haven't previously disclosed, intended for the tablet marketplace to meet the demands that it has, not only on power, but also on performance, and also on, on GPUs. Now at the beginning of my presentation, I promised you a, a surprise. So as part of that surprise, read that bottom line down there. Uh, this was another commitment that we made a couple of years ago, that we would deliver the world's best APU every single year. So here we are in 2011. I'd argue in 2011 we're doubling down. You saw us deliver Ontario. In its market segment, it's the world's greatest APU. Of course, we're not stopping. Lano, when you see it in a couple of weeks in its full performance-oriented manner, you'll see it is also unquestioned with the 500 gigaflops of performance, the world's greatest APU as well. So you probably are expecting me to show you a demo on Lano or something like that. Well, I run the products group. We're responsible for product development. We're done with Ontario. We're done with Lano now. Both of those are shipping millions or, or hundreds of thousands of parts out to our customers worldwide for production. We're busy working on, on the next greatest thing. And so the, the surprise that I have today, pull it out of my pocket here, is actually we have Trinity. So you, Lano is 2011's greatest APU. Trinity represents 2012's greatest APU. So by the way, back to my first slide. For anybody that doubts the visual, uh, we're visual human beings. Just take a look at all the pixel pictures. Nobody's listening to what I'm saying anymore. It's all the, the visual experience right here. Uh, so we're real excited to have Trinity. And we have it, we've had it in our labs now for a few weeks. It looks fantastic. It has that bulldozer core. It's doing everything we want to do. We're right on schedule. Uh, we're thrilled with the progress. Thrilled that we're going to be able to live up to that commitment of delivering the world's APU, world's greatest APU, not only in 2011, but in 2012, and certainly next year, I'll be talking about that solution for 2013 as, as well. So with that, there's nobody better qualified to talk about where we're going with our client uh, roadmap than Chris Klorin, our corporate VP and general manager of our client products. Chris. Yeah, thank you.